Loading layouts using Elementor is super easy and it should take you no more than a couple of minutes. Here we have a layout for mechanic services that you can get for free. Let me show you how you can load it on your website easily. First thing you want to make sure is to create a new page where you want this layout loaded. Click on the title or the edit button under the title to edit the page. Then click edit with Elementor and Elementor page builder will open. Here what you might want to do first is to go to settings and then change page layout. I want to get rid of this default header and footer that appear so I'm going to choose Elementor Canvas. And now you can see that, I, that I'm left with this uh, blank page without the header and the footer. To add this layout on our page we are going to do two things. First we are going to add templates and load it onto the page. And next we are going to add CSS code for it. First click add template. If you are not familiar with Elementor library here you have a few options or few tabs. First one is pages and here are some built-in pages layouts you can use. Also you have some individual blocks layouts you can load on your page. And there's a tab uh, called My Templates and all the templates that you imported on your own will be listed here. Since we don't have any yet, uh, we want to click Import Template to import our mechanic services layout. Then click Select File and navigate to files you downloaded. Here you are going to see Mechanic Elementor Template Import JSON file. Select it and click Open. Now you want to click insert button to insert this layout onto the page. I'm going to click yes here and in a moment our layout will be on the page as you can see right now. Also we want to add CSS to this page. To do so we want to navigate back to the files you downloaded. Here you will see mechanic elementor template CSS file. You want to open this file with your text editor. I use Notepad++ as my text editor. It's a great one and it's a free one and I recommend it. But you can open this file with any text editing software. Here you want to copy everything and then go back to your website. You want to paste this CSS in your theme options. I use uh, 2017 default theme for this example. So I want to go to appearance and then customize. And I'm going to paste the CSS inside additional CSS box. Once done, I want to click publish button and let's once again preview our page. And there we go. Let me also show you how you can customize this layout. Let's start with this background image here. If you would like to update this image, what you want to do is to click on edit section button, then go to style tab and simply change the image to something else. Once you choose the image, click insert media button. The moment you do that, you will see that the image will be changed on the website automatically. So you can immediately know how it is going to look like on an actual page. If you would like to update the text color, all you have to do is to click on it. Once again, go to style tab and change the text color option. To change the font size, uh, font weight and or anything else click on typography you can click this pencil icon here and then change the size weight line height or anything else to update the button once again what you want to do is to click on it then go to style tab and change the settings for the button don't forget to change the hover uh, button state so click hover and then change the background color, background border or anything else you would like changed. To update these icons here you want to upload uh, new images in a color of your website. What else? Uh, for example these items here uh, again click on it and in this case you want to go to advanced tab and here toggle background. From here change the background color and that's pretty much it. Let's repeat the process once again. There you go. So that's pretty much it. When you want to update an element, uh, you want to click on it, 
and then navigate through content, style and advanced tab to edit the settings. In worst case, uh, you want to look CSS code as well in cases when there is no option uh, for something you want to do with the element here. So make sure to go to CSS we added earlier and uh, try to edit the code there or to uh, write your own CSS there. So that's basically it. I really hope you will like Elementor and our mechanic uh, layout and thanks for watching.